Hey, we are live. Let's do it. <laughs> what? Yes. What? We're live, pal? We are live. And uh, we haven't been live in a long time, but we decided that we wanted to try a little experiment. There's been a really um, a fun game uh, that we've been playing, and it's called the Immaculate Grid. Kevin, do you want to explain the Immaculate Grid? So this is ImmaculateGrid.com. It's a baseball game that we're going to see right now, which is really going to touch your baseball dollars. Like, Mike and I have been watching baseball for decades, and this is hard. Yes, it, it definitely is. I'll just is. say that right now. But it's fun, so that's why we're going to do it. And that's why for the occasion, I opened up a beer that Michael gave me called River Walker IPA by Boss Brewing. They're from New Mexico. I believe you got this in Las Cruces for me. I did. So cheers. I've been sitting in my fridge for a few months. So then have a sip and show me what have you got today on the grid? And we can explain to the folks. Okay. So I'm going to uh, put it up here. I'm going to add this to the stream. All right. So as you see, oh, you no. have nine guesses. And basically, um, you, you're going to try and figure out um, which players uh, uh, fit these criteria. So so you see up there, you have the Tampa Bay Rays, and then you see the uh, Toronto Blue Jays. So you have to pick a player that um, fits both of those, that played mm -hmm. for both those teams. Yes. Okay. So, right? So uh, I'm already yeah. like, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like, it, it, it's very difficult because so, you have yes. to like dig back in history. You have to think about it pretty hard. And one of the things that's really great about this game is – like you could um, say, say one of the answers is um, let's say, let's say Reggie Jackson, let's put it. So he played okay. with the Oakland A's. He played for the Orioles. He played for the Yankees. Uh, and, and so basically Reggie Jackson would be a pretty popular pick. So the well, let's, well, let's say it right here. I mean, you see that bottom category, it says hundred RBIs and the A's. So you could easily say Reggie Jackson for that answer. Exactly. And so, that most likely is correct. Right. So my the my point is that that Reggie Jackson would be a pretty easy choice to mm -hmm. put in something like that. Yes. So the percentage will be higher, but what this is, it's like golf. It's you want yeah. to actually get the lower percentage. Mm -hmm. So somebody who maybe had a, a you know, for the A's, a hundred RBI season, um, maybe somebody who isn't Reggie Jackson. So yes. it gets pretty complicated. Um, and it can get pretty deep. And so, um, can I explain the rarity score? So when you're done, you get nine guesses, you get a score. And the lower the score, the better. And literally 100 points get added to your score for every category you don't get. So you you want to try to fill as many as you can. Yeah. And Michael Bond, I don't know who I fill all these. I'll say that right now. Yeah. But that's why we're doing this together. Yes. And, um, now do you, do you want to do it? Do you want to do it as far as, um, uh, in a, in a way, do you want to do it like a competition where like one person goes first, one person goes second and, and alternate. And then whoever has, I, the man, part of me is like, let's just, let's just see if we can do it as a team because I'm not going to do all this as a team. You want to take, okay. you want to try to do this together the first okay, time so, out that we can well, beat. So let, let's, what are you feeling here? Let's let's do it together because yeah, this All is right. a, a trial run. Um, yes, sir. In future games, what will be fun is if we have a moderator and then they pick, right. they flip a coin, see who goes first. So, for instance, if there's nine, um, hey, what's up, David? Thank you for joining. Yeah, oh, hey, David, what's up? Yeah, it, it's, David, check it's, this right? out. Help us if you want. If you have any answers, feel free to help us out here. Well, don't don't look it up. That's what that's what yeah, we. That's the main thing. Yes, of course. Yes, don't don't look it up because uh, what we're, we're looking for is basically we're trying to do this off the top of our head. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna try to do this the best of our ability. We've been doing this for uh, quite a few weeks, uh, and this is like. And, um, and I will add this: only, this game's only been around for about three, four months. It's already been purchased by BaseballReference.com. Yeah. So when you're done, you actually can compare your answers and see every who fits the criteria. So yeah. this is about to blow up. On yeah. a bigger scale because they're they're talking about doing this for other sports as well. Yeah, and, oh, they actually have it for like uh, basketball and football and stuff like mm. that. So like there is other uh, games like this, but we're we're gonna do this. Right. Um, we're gonna team up for this one, right. and um, but we're we're gonna do this to the best wow. of our ability. We're not gonna look it up. We're actually gonna do it straight off the brain. And 
one of the things that um, that we're going to do in the future is we're going to actually make this a competition. So, yeah. for instance, if I went first, I'd, I'd pick out a square and then I do it. Now, the, okay. the interesting part about this game is so like, for instance, say one of the persons is Ricky Henderson, let's say. If you put okay. Ricky Henderson for down as a square, you can't use it again. Right. So that is also something I actually had that happen to me where I'm like, oh, that answer would have been better in this spot. Yep. Um, and, and I could have used this other person uh, for the spot that I, I did. So right. that being said, we're going to team up on this one, but eventually we're going to do head to head competition. I think it'll be a lot of fun and it'll actually yeah. flex our knowledge of uh, baseball uh, for sure. Um, I, a lot of people are doing more modern baseball. A lot yeah. of these picks. Um, well, I see the Rays. The Rays, I'm like, uh oh, that's the Rays that's are a not more modern team for sure. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, I have a fun one already for the for the Twins All Star. Is there one my NRA that's gonna make you go, whoa, what? I got one for you. All right. What? That's the fun of this. Okay. So so uh where do we start? Where do we start on this one? <sighs> all right. Do you have anything for the Tampa Bay Rays at all in the, the Toronto or yes. the A's category? Oh, I thought I thought of one too, I believe, but go ahead. What do you have for me? Um, I believe Colby Rasmus. Um, that's a, that's a tough one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used, what? He used to be with, uh, the Cardinals. So that's why I kind of followed him. I know he played for okay. Toronto a little bit unsure if he played for Tampa Bay. Uh, but that's my first, uh, guess. Cause the only person I, Oh, you know what? I was thinking Rowdy Telez, but I don't know if he played on the Rays or not. I know he's on the Brewers, but I'm not sure if he's on the, on the Rays. Oh, that I, I he might, that's, that's a very good guess as well. I think that that might be a good, um, Ooh. So immediately you see how hard this is. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you immediately uh, immediately when you start coming up with Tampa these, Bay is the one I knew I was gonna have a hard time with. Yeah. Um so uh, uh, we can we can actually start um the one below. There's a there's yes. an easy one below that. For the twins and the blue jays? Uh yes. Yes, because there's a hall of famer and a friend hall of the of show. Famer. Is that what you're thinking of? Friend of the show? Yes. I mean, we could say Paul the, Molitor, that's but it, that's should, but do we put it in or, see we, or do we see if we think of something better? Yeah, and again, we, we can put that in there, but why don't we just put it in so we can show people what it looks like? All right, yeah, let's do that. Okay. And I feel he's giving me a higher percentage, but go for it. Yeah, so again, this just is pretty, what obvious, looks like. pretty obvious pick. I'm going to select yeah. him. He probably going to be like oh, a good 7%. 60%. How much? Seven. Wow, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that. too. I'm actually because I thought that would be when you weird. watch when you watch our podcast next week, you're gonna learn that Paul Walter was on the 1993 Blue Jays team that won the World Series. That's right. There you go. That's right. All right. Uh, where do you want to go from here, Michael? See, and and this is the interesting part of this. So yes. we could have done Paul Molitor as the uh, tw uh, Blue Jays hundred RBI season potentially. Potentially, but. There's other guys I think we could easily more use than that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go old or modern? Because I have a couple of guesses from the 80s for sure. So which one are you going for? Are you going for this one? Well, if I'm going to go for Blue Jays 100 RBIs, I'm thinking we need to go old school. Okay. And there's two or three names. And I think the easy one would be George Bell. Okay. That's or Willie Upshaw. What would you want to go through for those Ooh. two? So – Wow. That, I mean, I think both of those are going to be very low percentage. Yes. Which of those two do you think of a sure bet? I think George Bell is a safer bet of yeah, those two. I, I, I would agree with that. I don't know for sure on Willie Upshaw, but I think George Bell is pretty solid. I think Willie Upshaw is a, is a fantastic uh, a Devon White, potentially. Uh, I don't think I don't think so. He's more. He was more of a, uh, a, a leadoff base. hitter, solid yeah. base guy. I don't think a hundred guys. Uh, I think a Willie Upshaw, Jesse Barfield, Joe but Carter. most likely, Joe Carter. Yes, that's very likely as well. Uh, uh, I don't know about John Olerud. That's a possible Olerud one as well. Yes. Uh, how about um, uh, the Hall of Famer um, uh, played second base? Tony Fernandez? No, not no. Oh, Roberto Alomar. Alomar could be. Could I know, be. but here's our thing. We want to go. We we're trying to get a lower score here. True. I think I think I think yours is good. So um, we want to go Willie Upshaw or George Bell. Let's just go George Bell. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's, I that's think that's a lot. George Taco Bell is uh, he was called by uh, 
by um, Chris Berman. Yeah, and he's, and as you can see, this is a good this is a good thing too. So yeah. you can see George Bell, um, 1981 to 80, uh, 93. Actually, that, this, he stopped in 93. But as you who's see, the other George Bell? There's another George Bell from 1907 to 1911. This is the fun part of this. So you actually yeah. have to select the right one. So don't go too fast. Time. Don't slow down. Take your time picking your picks, folks. Yes. So 81 through 93. It's amazing. I didn't know he ended in 93. So All right. I, hopefully we're right on this. Let's see. 2%. We got it? Wow. All right. There we go. We did really well. That's, that. what we're that's what we're looking for here. Yes, for sure. Okay. All right. That, that is awesome. Great. Great. And pick. if anybody is actually watching this and wants to contribute, throw some answers out there. Help us. We'll appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. Um, again, uh, uh, throw them out, try not to look it up. And, uh, but we're, we're looking for like off your brain names. Um, some, some good people. I'm still, I, I know I, I still think it, we, that might be our last pick. If I do Colby Rasmus to end up, you know what? Go pick. for it. Go for it. Because I'm not going to figure out anything for Tampa Bay. Most likely. Okay. Tampa Bay um, all-star though. We could have some fun with, I'm sure. If we go back in time, but yeah. All who right. Who's on the Tampa? Oh, you're going to do it. Uh, do, do you think I should or should I wait? I don't care. Go for it. We're not going to think of anybody else unless someone helps us. All right. Colby Rasmus. I still feel, I, I still feel like I, we, we have something. <laughs> well, we're going to need help from the audience otherwise because I can't think of anybody else. Okay. So I'll just go for this one. All right. I hope you're right. Oh, Let's look go. at that. Were you wrong? Or you, you got, oh, you got it. Nice. Very well. Well yes. done, sir. Well done. I, I just had a feeling. I had a feeling. Colby Rasmus. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. So we're showing our expertise here. <laughs> okay. So now we can move on to. Um, now we're on know, the athletics. A Tampa Bay All Star. We can move to uh, a Twins All Star. Now this is the interesting one. Hundred RBI plus season plus being an All Star. That's a very. There's like hundreds of possibilities there. Yes. That's where you're not going to go for your most basic person. We got to find the most like crazy obscure person possible. So. The All-Star Game started in 1933. So literally, we have eight decades of players we could pick. All right? Just say, just throwing that out there. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you got to remember, for the A's as well, we have the Kansas City Athletics and the Philadelphia oh. Athletics. Yes, we found that out because um, we were looking at the um, – uh, Washington Nationals. Now, they used yes. to be the Expos. Yep. And I actually had to – I actually had to put it down. I actually had to make a mistake. I'm like, I need to see if they still have expos in here. And it did have it in there. So in the rules, it says all the uh, specifications. Yes. So, And and to, to clarify, as far as I know, for Tampa Bay, it had these um, – so it was on Tampa Bay Rays and an all-star at the same time. Not someone who was on Tampa Bay right. who was also exactly. an all-star. Yeah, exactly. So I, I have one for that one. Are, 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 is that one that you're? What? Tell me what you got. So um, the the one that comes to immediately to mind is Eva Longoria. That's a good one. That's pretty obscure. Yeah. Is there? Any, I I might. I uh, have to think thought? off the top of my head. Wait. Uh, I don't know if I, that's. Uh, I don't know for sure if he was an all star. I don't know if that's he was a an all star, risky. but it was it was his last year. Um, they, that's he, still a little they, risky. I think Evan Goria is a way safer choice. I think so too. Uh, I'd say just um, go ahead and do that. Cause otherwise it's okay. like a Robbie Ray or something like that. But I don't know if Robbie Ray would be less of a choice than Evan Goria. Just there wait till you're right for the percent. twins. So, all right. So little, that's all right. Little, yeah. We'll take it. So, I mean, there's tons of twins that we could do for this one. Uh, what, what do you All right. Thinking? You let me give you a really fun one. Yeah. A man who I, if I remember, and I really was all star because I believe one MVP, Zoilo Versailles, I think is his name. Oh my God. That is amazing. I was going to say Tony Oliva, but I think Zoilo, Z O I L O. Yeah. Now I'm going to, I'm going to look it up, but I'm not going to put it in. But I, uh, Zolio Versailles, right? Oh, I think he won the M he won an MVP in the '60s. So I'm like, how could this guy not be an All Star, right? Z O I L O, there it is, right there. Oh, I hope I'm right on this. I'm gonna cringe if Zolo, I'm wrong. Zolio, Z O I. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that one is going to be so obscure. But I, I mean, we could say. 
um, Kirby Puckett. We could say Rod yes. Drew, Harmon yep. Pillow. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of high higher- Paul Molitor, potentially. We you know, we already have Paul Molitor there, but we can't use him. Now was Zorro- Joe Mauer, Justin Joe Morneau. Mauer, exactly. Ken Herbeck. Uh there's yep. so many. So I'm gonna ask you this. Yes, was sir. he also a rookie of the year? <sighs> Off the top, I don't know. Okay. But I, if I remember correctly, either one rookie of the year or he won an MVP. Okay. So I'd say either we go with him or Tony Oliva. What are you thinking? Oh, see, I think this one is going to be lower. Tony Oliva actually would be higher in my opinion. But not much higher. I not think it'd be pretty higher. obscure still. No. This you is, want to go with this one? Yeah, I hope right. I'm right on this. This is a fantastic I really, one. I really hope I'm right on this. Wow. 0.3%. That is outstanding. Yes. Outstanding. All right. Whew. Yes. So we have four guesses left and four squares. So we're almost to the immaculate grid. All right. All right. The athletics. Um, Michael Mondragon was Steven Piscotti a Ray. Why am I? Th- uh, I'm just asking. No, I, I okay. he was, he was a, uh, life Cardinal. Cardinal, but then he okay. got traded to the A's. Uh, okay. his mother was sick and he was from the Bay area, right, and right, he was right. not, but that's a great guess. <sighs> Because the Rays and A's, I'm just, I mean, these A's and the Twins and the Rays is what I'm blanking on. So if anybody's actually watching out there and has any help, <laughs> we'd appreciate it right now. We got three people. Somebody, oh no! Does anybody know? Who help us, please. Okay. So let let's let's let me oh. think about this one for a second. Okay. So, um, oh, I I think I might have um, the A's and Twins. Okay. Who are you thinking? Did Chuck Knobloch play for the A's? <sighs> Oh, I don't know on that for sure. I knew he's a Yankee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oof. Yes. Okay. So this is where it gets a little like nerve wracking, and we're just like we don't we're we're so close, and we're just like we don't want to make a wrong choice, and then because it blows the rest of the board. Wow. <laughs> but we feel like we should put a title on ourselves as well. Yes. Okay. Should, should we find a fun like A's under RBI person to talk about in the meantime? Yeah. So let's. So what what I do when I'm doing these is I start thinking about like the decade team. So um, I think of like, oh, I go, oh, who played third base for the A's? I go, oh, Carney Lansford. Um, right. You know those uh, Gene Tennis. Uh, there you go. Then I start Joe, looking- Ru- Joe Rudy. Joe Rudy is a great do. one. I was just watching him on the uh, 1975 All Star Game, and he was. There you go. Uh, he was, I guess he was a 74 like uh, World Series hero. So that's a great one too. And you you try to think to yourself like, oh, did they play for the the any of the teams that I'm trying to think of? Oh, right. I mean, an I easy know. choice would be Jimmy Fox. Oh wow, that's a great one. Yeah, the Philadelphia A's, right? Yes, exactly. Okay, that's a great. I don't remember if Goose Goslin played on the Philadelphia A's or not, but like <laughs> you can always go back to Jimmy Fox. Worst case scenario. Yeah, I think that's a that's a great one. Okay, so then, uh, what do you so, think, Jimmy Fox or like a Joe Rudy, or what are you thinking here for the uh, RBIs, A's? Give it the A's. Yeah, what are you thinking? Oh, I think that's that's. Uh, I think that's a great one. Because no one's gonna guess that. I mean, that's such a low percentage. I mean, that that's great. That's a great one. You I'm want- just trying to think of. The, I can't wait to think of the most obscure hundred RBI person possible. That's what I'm looking for. I mean that. That's. I mean, when you think more modern baseball. Oh no, I'm thinking like 40s. <laughs> I'm thinking that's, like that's, the 40s. That's, that's what's amazing, and it's like that. Again, th- this pick right here for the for the Twins All Star. That's a fantastic yeah. one. So. No, I yeah. I, that one it, that one immediately popped in my head because I knew yeah. most of the All Stars from the or the MVPs from that time period. Should I go? Should I do this one? Who are you gonna pick, Jimmy Fox? Oh, that's yeah, that's a gimme. It'll probably be it'll probably be higher than you think, honestly. Yeah, twenty five to forty five. Yeah. So, wow, twenty years. Wow. Okay, so that's yep. great one. So let's do it. Right. Wow, four percent. Fantastic. Right. I, I thought it'd be higher than that, honestly. Because, but then again, when we're doing this, uh, this drops at nine p.m. Pacific, midnight Eastern. That's why yeah. we're doing this now. Yeah. And anybody, the fact that anybody's hanging out with us while we're looking at this. So cheers. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that A's. The A's. Anybody get up with the A's. We'd appreciate that. Okay. So let, let's let's break this down a little bit. So let's yes, sometimes sir. sometimes I don't 
obsess on maybe the A's, I'll start thinking about the twins. So like, let's start okay. thinking about like, uh, who played third base for the twins. And so who can you remember? Like right off the bat, uh, like I, I, I don't think he played, you know, he played the outfield. Like I'm thinking like Dan Gladden. I go, no. Did, oh, did, did Mickey Tettleton play for the oh, Tettleton, twins? Did he play for the twins or the Orioles? Uh, I think, yeah, he was, that's a good question. I don't remember him with. Is that Fruit Loops, Loops or is Chris Hoyle's Fruit Loops? I remember who was Fruit Loops. <laughs> then the great yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it was. So then I started thinking about like pitchers. Um, okay. Some great pitchers for the Twins, uh, Jack Morris, uh -huh. um, uh, Frank Viola. Yeah, Zachary um, uh Yeah. Uh, Raleigh Fingers. I think the uh, A's, like Barry Zito. Captain Hunter. Captain Hunter is a good Barry one. Zito. Gosh. And we're not getting any help out there. No, everyone's as stuck as we are. <laughs> so Chad, but that's why I'm just doing the hangout. What? So Chad, Chad's saying uh, Rod Carew, but who, who, who's Rod Carew? Who, who, where, where Rod Carew was on the Twins and the Angels. Yes. I don't remember him playing on the Athletics. No. I I think he only played with the Twins and the and the Angels. Yes. Considering I've, I saw him on the Angels at the end of his career, I don't yeah. think he played at the A's. Yes. That's a good guess, though. No. But, hey, but that could easily be a 100 RBI season and all-star person. Yes, for sure. It very well could be that. Yes. that's a, that. a I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. So okay, so the A okay, so this is <laughs> we start thinking through all this stuff. Uh, okay, so the biggest thing is like okay, so the Twins is technically a more modern uh, uh -huh. team. They right. have, they don't have a long history, um, but uh, they have a very storied roster. So for instance, like um, Fred McGriff, like yes, uh, you know, played for the the Twins. So Fred McGriff played for the Twins. Uh, not not, not saying twins. I said uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even know. Fred, I'm like, Fred plays on the on the on the Rays. What? Yeah, I think when <laughs> yeah. they first started, he was one of their first players. Oh, okay. Like what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Wow. This is uh, so far. My the only person I think of possibly for the A's and the Twins is Mickey Telton, but I don't know for sure on that. I might be thinking of the Orioles. That's that's, that's that's a that's a really great one. Um, oh oh uh, oh! I what you got? Have, are you ready for this? I actually have one for the A's and Rays. What you got for me? Are you ready? This is not what you'll expect. Okay. Jose Canseco. Oh yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And that that might be that might be high percentage, but who cares? Put it in. That's a, I, don't that's think, a, I don't think it will be. I think it'll be lower because everybody doesn't consider him a Tampa Bay Ray. It'll be at least 10%. All right, here we go. Because when we're done, we'll show you the summary and they'll show you how many people fit on each. What was it? 9%. Nice. Well done, Michael Mondragon. I, I remember him because that, that's where he ended. Of course. I know why I didn't think of that. Oh, gosh. The Twins and the A's. Uh. Oh, this is, okay, so... Let let's let's dig deep here. Uh, Edwin Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, when 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 all else fails, Edwin Jackson. And Edwin I, Jackson played on fifteen teams in Major League Baseball. I honestly think that he was in both on both these teams. Who was the other person we were saying played on like fifteen oh, teams? Jay Johnstone. Jay Johnstone's up there, but he was not a twin. Oh, yeah. Twin. yeah, I threw that at you one day with this. Yeah. That <laughs> Johan Santana. I mean, I'll be using an A. Uh, he wasn't. Oh, he wasn't an A. You're right. That's a that's a good one because he started with the Twins. Uh, Bert Campanaris. I'm gonna start throwing names at you just for fun. Bert Campanaris. I don't believe he played for the A. I don't think it's, Yeah, I don't think it's Twins. Let's see. Uh, I'm just thinking out loud here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, was Tony uh, Oliva an athletic? What about Jock Jones? Sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you did or didn't. I wouldn't want to. I don't want to ruin the board by just throwing out willy nilly. Because there's all right. Yeah. All right. Let's have some fun. Let's try to think of the most obscure all star who got 100 RBIs in a season. That, that's going to be the challenge. Okay. Uh, I, okay. I have a I have a really fun random one, but I don't know if it's if it's it or not. Okay. 
Let me throw at you the super rookie. Oh, no, no, it wouldn't work. I'm going to throw super rookie Joe Charbonneau at you. Joe Char oh, man, that's a great. But, but I don't think I, that was your eight. It might have been 1981, which was short in season. Oh, right. So right. I don't want to take a chance on that. Okay. I don't know if it was 80 or 81. I have one. Oh, I don't know if he was an all star, though. In that, same, in that same time period, Ron Kittle. 83? I could totally see him being an all star in 83, but I don't know if he got. Are you talking 83? I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm just, I'm just saying in that time period. That's an awesome that. answer. God, that's a great answer because he was like week there in 83 and he was a sensation. Yeah. <sighs> There's literally like hundreds of names that can throw out. We can think yeah, of the most obscure, most random yeah. people. Yeah. Like I could say Ted Williams for sure. This up there. We yeah. throw Mickey Mantle. We say Roger Maris. No, like Kelly but, Jr. is a layup. Yeah. But all these names are layups. The fun of this game is, is to find somebody you're like, what? Yes. Yes. Like a, like a Lyman Bostock, like a guy Lyman who played Bison. like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know for sure, but well, a guy who played like a couple years and then unfortunately he got killed. Which I yeah. Hate right. Yeah. There, yeah. We, we actually like had a situation uh, like that. We had a fun one where it was, uh, uh, I, I said there was a, it was San Francisco and, uh, the Padres. And I was like, Oh, Mike Ivy, I V I E. And it's like, yes, it no was, idea. No, no I, idea. I only know it from having baseball cards in the, in the late seventies. I'm just like, Oh yeah. that yeah. Guy's play for that. <laughs> But it's like, wait, Andre yeah. Dawson. How about that? That's a good one. Andre Dawson is a great one. That's a good, yeah. yeah. I almost want to go with that, but. Whatever you want to pick. The you want to pick a random you want to pick a random St. Louis no. Cardinal? Oh, what who would be uh, I'll throw with 100 RBI season. I uh, know, oh, I was I was going to Enos Slaughter, but I don't think so on that. Stan Musial for sure. Stan Musial slam dunk. Um Yeah, but again, it's you, a high in this category. Yeah. There's a lot of people. So we we know we know the hundred RBI season all star that, that's that's no problem. So now let's let's work on the A's twins because that's really the unless you want to do that for the last and and we can Tony Oliva. I don't know. I'm just throwing names out. Oh, I don't remember him playing for the A's though. I don't remember for sure. I don't know why I have a sneaky suspicion he did, but I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure on that. Did we did we uh, say did I I I think I went I, I, before I said like Chuck Knobloch right. I know, but I don't. I I remember him being like a Yankee. Yeah, I know. That's the only. I I swear he was name. Okay, okay. Uh, shoot. I'm trying to think. I go through the Rolodex of baseball cards in my head, <laughs> and I'm like, all right, well, Greg Gagne and Herbeck. I'm like, uh, I don't want to totally leave the game to me, but I don't know for sure on that. Yeah. <sighs> so do you do you want to do the um this one the uh. 100 RBIs, and we just get that one. Oh, we totally can because that, like, we have hundreds of bears, players to pick from there. Well, uh, you pick it. Oh, God, you're going to make me pick. All right, hang on. <laughs> Let me think about this. I mean, I just want to pick someone fun and random. You want to pick a random Cardinal? I, I, the 100 RBI thing is the thing that I'm, I'm a little. You're bit... telling me Sam Muser didn't get hard 100 RBIs in a season? I'm hundred percent. He did. I, I, it's, it's again, is that's, that's Stan usual is a slam dunk. Uh, so like, I'm trying yeah, to, but, but I'm trying to look. Like, like Keith Hernandez. I'm trying to, all right. Uh, well, that's a good one. That's a good, that's I, a don't good one. Got, I don't think I got hundred RBIs though. He, he had, you, you want me to pick someone random is what you want. He was MVP in 79. You want me to pick somebody like stupidly random. That's what you want, right? <laughs> oh God. All right. Hang on. I think, I, I, I think your Andre Dawson one is a fantastic. Go for it. Andre Dawson, the Hawk. There you go. 1987, 1987 MVP. Go for it. Even if he wasn't, he was. He, he would be for uh, the... Montreal. Yeah, exactly. All right, what do we got? And he was an MVP as well. I'm sure he'll still be like a one percenter. So... What is it? 0.7. Yeah, I figured as much. I am. Um, Cause there's so many people for that category. Yeah. That's a, That's a great, I mean, that's literally, we, we did paper thin. That is. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, Why do I keep thinking Terry Steinbach was a freaking twin, mm. but I don't know for sure on that. 
Why do I keep thinking that? Why do I keep thinking Steinbach that? Steinbach is a great one. Why do I keep thinking Terry Steinbach was a twin? But I don't know if he was. Any help out there in the universe? Yes. <laughs> the universe? We have a couple of people. Watching. They're going to be like, I can't help you. Let's see here. Okay, so who are some... Nope, sorry. Uh, I, I just lost you. Sorry. I'm back. Uh, Jeff Reardon, no. Ooh, no, you wouldn't have played on the, on the A's. You wouldn't have played on the A's. Uh, I on the A's. Jay, let's see. Uh, Goose Gossage. Uh, uh, he played a lot of teens. Catfish Hunter. Like, worst comes to worst. If we get to get in like three, four minutes, we're going to go with freaking... Um, what's his name? Um, Edwin Jackson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Last K, last ditch effort. We're gonna go Edwin Jackson because he's played on half the teams in Major League Baseball. So yes, yes. it's very possible he could have played on both those teams. I, I almost hundred percent guarantee he did. So, I mean, at least for one of the two. I don't know for sure both, but for sure one of the two. Yes, I'm almost uh, positive you played. But I, but I'm telling you, I, I'm thinking Terry Seinbach. I don't know. I'm. Okay, That's, so that, yeah. I'm going to leave this to you. Who, <laughs> see, this is a great question of this. Terry Steinbach is I, a great one. I mean, I... I, I so I, who I don't know why. That's the one that came to me, is Terry Steinbach. So he was a catcher think, for... Uh, yes, he was a catcher for the A's for sure, but I, I don't... I can't remember any Twins catchers except for Tim Laudner, and that would have been like the Tim mid to late Turner, 80s. Joe Maurer. Um, Joe Maurer is definitely later, but I don't know why my gut's telling me it's Terry Steinbach. So I hope I'm right. All right. You well, trust me? I mean, are you going to do it? it I, it's up to you. You tell me. I mean, if you can think anything better, go for it. Not go with my guess. I know and Terry Steinbach my... was definitely for the A's, right? Oh, uh, for sure. But, and I think he's on the Twins, but I'll hide my eyes and just hope I'm right. Because I, I don't know. You wanted to my go gut tell me yes. My gut tell me yes. Terry Steinbach. I I'm saying Chuck Knobloch, and it's like, well, let's let's go with. Um, oh gosh, you want my guess? <sighs> you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We oh, did it. <laughs> Immaculate grid. We did it. Teamwork. Yes. That is, that is awesome. 52, wow. 52, Michael Mondragon. I don't think we, I don't think I've ever seen that low. Of a oh, I'm like sweating. I'm sweating <laughs> here. Oh. Again, it's a team effort. Um, but eventually, we'll have to compete. See, yeah. I would have got you on Terry Steinbach. I would have beat you one on one. If that you Terry would. Steinbach. You would've, you would've <laughs> and Zoilo for saves. <laughs> Yes, yes. That, that's a, that's a deep pull. That how you pulled that one? Because I used to collect my major, I my, my collecting cards. I knew he was an MVP one year. Yes, that's why I went with him. <laughs> oh, sweating myself off here. That but hey, fifty. Wow, what a score! Fifty-two. Cheers, everybody! Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, that was tremendous. So we're gonna do this as a game. Um, we're gonna. I'm actually in full disclosure. Uh, I actually start a trip, a three week trip tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, major league baseball. I'm going to do some minor league baseball and also independent baseball. So um, the podcast is a, a bit on hiatus, but mm -hmm. we're going to do actually, we're going to try and do this when I'm uh, traveling around um, mm -hmm. and then we can have a competition with it. So um, we're going to, I would love, I would love to, I would love to. And uh, yeah, 52 is a great score. Again, if we teamed up on this one, tag team style, uh, you can see our, our brains work similarly on all this stuff. But so, now, Michael, now can you scroll down a little bit, please? Yes. To show Pete, to show anybody watching, um, if you see where it shows the summary, it shows you the possibilities. So you can click on any of those links to see the people who match those possibilities. So, we had 482 people there. So there you go. Oh, the most popular? Yeah, there's most I popular mean, as well. Yeah. Oh, Aaron Judge. So there you go. We're going older players. So that helps us out there. But if you see, look at the, what's the most, what's the lowest number? 25 we saw? And you, there was only 25 for one category I saw there. So we did good. 
did good. Oh wow, we 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 did good do well. So yeah, um, there's, there's yeah, that's that's fantastic. Um, and then the accuracy. Let's see, what was the lowest one here? Seventy-two for the A's. Oh yeah, there we go. The Canseco one was a a, a good pull. Yep. Yeah. That was probably the, the, the biggest percentage we got because we couldn't think of anybody else. But when you're done doing it, you can just look at that summary and look at people and be like, hey, you know, that's really cool. And then you retain that for future Immaculate Grids. Yeah. You know? Jose Barrios is is one that I I, oh, would, I had never right. I didn't know you play for the the Who was the most popular one for the twins and the A's? Uh who's that? Twins and the A's. Sonny Gray. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I forgot that he. Yeah, I mean, again, I I think of him. Um, well, now he. Well, he, he's a Ranger now. Ranger, but he's a Yankee as he's well. He's been on like and a Red. He's been on a lot yeah. of teams. Yeah, Carlos Pena is another one I I wouldn't have thought of either. That's an interesting one as well. So I, I had Zoilo Versailles. All right, you're well, welcome. See, these are more modern players, but we, we of try, course we try to dig deep uh, with all this stuff. So, oh, I mean, I've got my deep cuts, obviously. <laughs> Well, again, thank you so much. This was just a kind of a test of uh, what we can do with this and and show our our acumen when it comes to uh, baseball and trying to figure out this. It's been we've been doing this on the side. We thought this would be a fun way to do this live one time. Figure it out. And then, and then, have you got a perfect grid yet? You did once, right? Uh, yeah, I got twice. I think. I think yeah. I did it once. Yeah. Then we came together. We did the like perfect our first try. So. Yes. Yeah. We're the newest, best tag team in the business. <laughs> yes. Yes. Put us together and we'll, we'll do this. So we'll definitely be doing some more of these. We'll get everybody involved and uh, we'll have a moderator. And again, we, we can do it like um, kind of back and forth. Like somebody, you know, flip a coin, whoever goes first. Cause that, you know, get an advantage. Um, yeah. If you, if you get one wrong, you know, again, you can win five, four or, you know, yeah. five, two, five, yeah, one, whatever. Know. Yeah. I want to see Cowboy Jack Durango take one of these on. Oh, that'd be goodness. fun. Yeah, that that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. And and it would it would uh, yeah I don't know we we he'd probably go through all nine picks. I I would love to see if he could get one. I would be very yeah happy. of course. Yeah, he'll say Pete Rose for all of them. <laughs> yes, he'll he'll definitely start, make get some uh, great one. Possibly some people that aren't even baseball players. He'll put it in there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out. We we just wanted to try this out. So, Michael, I hope to challenge you soon on Immaculate Grid. I'm looking forward to it. I look forward to beating you, and uh, I look forward to you uh, trouncing me as well. Because um, again, your deep pulls uh, blow my mind. So uh, <laughs> it's it's fantastic. So thanks for joining, everyone. We appreciate it, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.